This is a series of tutorial videos we created for Kinemac, 3D animation software for OS X. I enjoyed learning about the software so much that I wanted to share it with the Mac MediaCast subscribers. It's right up our alley. This video is part two. Be sure to check out part one as well. Now that we've seen the basics of animating a camera, let's animate a camera on a path. Creating paths is an easy way to animate objects in Kinemac. This 3D model comes from a 3DS file we dragged onto the stage. Click the Path button on the toolbar to create a new path. We'll use the Pen tool and add points along the path. Each point also has bezier handles to adjust the curve of the path. In this view, we're looking down in space on top of the object, so we've created a camera that will go around the object in an arc. After the path is drawn, we can adjust the points. When I adjust points in the front and right panes, you'll see the changes in the other panes. I'm moving the path of the camera in three dimensions. Now on the inspector, with the camera selected, we'll link the eye of the camera to the path. Press slash to go to one view and press the space bar to preview this animation in real time. If we go back to four view, you can see everything moving together. If you select the camera, you can make adjustments to the camera's zoom in the inspector. Now that we've learned how to create, manipulate, and animate objects and cameras, let's take a look at how to make a film strip animation. A film strip animation is a great effect, but in many of the other motion graphics programs, it's hard to make, not in Kinemac. Let's switch our view by clicking slash to go to one view and then F for front view. We'll create a path. Here is the path in perspective view. On the inspector, we select the path's parameters and then under profile, select strip. You'll see the look of your path turn into a long strip. We'll set the width of the strip to 500. At any time, you can still adjust the points of the path. Next, we'll add an image of film as a texture on our strip by dragging this image onto it. Press Command 5 to open the textures window and we'll set the fill to tile and set its width to 10. Let's change the background color of the stage to a gradient so we can see our strip better. Next, let's add a movie to our strip. Just drag and drop one right onto the strip. To animate the strip, let's create a keyframe for the strip end percent attribute at the first frame. Double click the wheel below it to set it to zero. Now we'll add another keyframe later in time and set the strip end percent back to 100%. Go back and press the space bar to see the result in real time. To finish our animation, we'll add keyframes in the same places on the text offset X attribute, setting them to zero and 100% like before. Now press the space bar and see that the video moves with the strip animation. The animations you create in Kinemac play back in real time even at full screen. To export your animation, choose Export Movie from the File menu. You can export at any size in any codec that QuickTime can export. You can also set motion blur for the animation on the export movie panel. And you can even export your animation to a series of still images. We've just scratched the surface on how powerful Kinemac is for creating professional animations and how easy it is to use. For more information, tutorials, and a gallery of Kinemac movies, visit Kinemac.com today. Thanks for watching. A special thanks to Kinemac for allowing us to release these tutorials as a podcast. Be sure to visit them at kinemac.com. For more Mac audio and video tutorials, drop by macmediacast.com. 
Be sure to befriend me on Twitter, Facebook, and all the social sites. My contact info is at josephnilo.com.